Hi guys, Sean from Optics. So today we've got the Athlon Midas range of scopes on the table. On my left hand side, you've got the second focal plane versions. On my right, you've got the first focal plane versions. So we'll start off with the first focal planes and we'll start with the biggest one first. This is the five to 25 by 56. This is the 34 mil tube version. And this is the one with the massive amount internal adjustment. So with the Midas tax, Athlon basically introduced these to really be an optic that gives you everything you need for long range shooting, but with the convenience of bringing your parallax down to the short ranges. This particular model comes down to 25 yards, being the five to 25 by 56, but it does count all the way uh, out past 500 up to infinity, and it ends up being one of the probably the best first focal plane 34 mil tube scopes on the market under a thousand pounds. So you're looking about a retail of about 850 on this, and it's got about 110 MOA of internal adjustment. It comes in both a MOA version and a mil version. The mil version paired with 0.1 mil rad click, and the MOA version is a quarter MOA click. Uh, standard, it's got the HD glass system, which is across all the Midas range. And like I said, five to 25, and really a, a prime choice for a lot of shooters looking for either something for PRL or PRS style shooting, something for foxing, uh, but needing the first focal plane reticule. And it's got the convenience as well of basically a capped windage turret. So if you are in the field, you haven't got the fact that you potentially could knock it while transporting the rifle and or, or basically if you're climbing over any fences, that you're gonna keep that windish turret nice and um, secure underneath that cap. It's got nice, really nice positive clicks. I don't know if we can hear it, but basically very heavy indented clicks, perfect for long range shooting. So if I move on then to it's sort of its smaller brother, you've got the Midas Tac again, six to 24 by 50 this time. It's based on a 30 mil tube and it's still got plenty of internal adjustment think of the top of my head, it's around 70 MOA, and it's a much more lighter streamlined version. Uh, like I said, it's 30 mil tube. Again, they're non-illuminated, um, I like to add, just on the first focal plane versions. And this particular model, being the six to 24 by 50, comes down to 10 yards. And we also have in the Midas tack range, the four to 16 by 44. That also comes below, or actually comes down to 10 yards as well. It's a nice four to 16 magnification range, first focal plane, good for ARs, good for people out to four or 500 yards, and also very good for air rifles. Obviously air rifles are very popular over here in the UK, and this is what a lot of people could put these onto. Uh, so again, we've got a hard zero stop system. This is again, common across both the first focal plane versions. You've got a cap windage, keeping your turret covered uh, during transport, obviously very key, make sure you don't knock it. And again, we've got very good glass in it. So you're looking about on the six to 24 version, they've got two, well, three reticule choices. They've got one MOA choice and you've got two mil choices. So with the mil choices, you've ended up with one which is slightly higher, about just under 700 pound retail. And you've also then got the second mill choice, which is a slightly more basic milling reticule, still gives you plenty of information, but that's around 650 pounds. So the MOA in the basic uh, milling MOA rep is about 650 as well. So if we move off of the first focal plane versions and move on to my left hand side, you'll see we have, if we start with, this is the four and a half to 27 by 50. This is a part of the second focal plane series of rifle scopes. So we have illumination as standard, and this goes up to six, and you've basically got on the illumination, you've got a step between each setting, so you can go on and off, on and off, which is quite nice. Just means you can return back to the setting that you like to shoot on. 30 mil tube, nice amount of internal adjustment, good for target shooting, due to the second focal plane reticule. So if you, you sort of know what ranges you're shooting at commonly and you want the reticule to maintain its size throughout the 
well, basically, you want the reticule not to grow in size and you want a clear, uncut, uh, uncluttered image when you are out shooting, then the second focal plane, Midas, 4.5 to 27 by 50, is a good bet. Like the first focal plane versions, um, this one comes down to 25 yards, which is the same as the first focal plane, 5 to 25. Not as low as the first focal plane, 6 to 24, but still low enough if you want to pull it onto an air rifle or a rim fire and not have it up at the top magnification, you still will get away with being able to do that. Again, zero stop turrets and very positive clicks. So these are available on both MIL and MOA. So if we just quickly look at the windage turret on this, the windage turret is marked both left and right, which is very convenient, makes it easy at an end of a long shooting session just to make sure you're continually traveling in the right direction. So I put this one down. So if we go on to the smaller Midas, again, this is a second focal plane rifle scope. This is a two and a half to 15 by 50. And we found that these work very well with um, night vision add-ons actually. So something like the pod would work very well with this. Um, and they work well with the forwards in the pulsar range. And even for day shooting, these are very good scopes. So if you're looking for a scope for foxing, uh, deer stalking or just varmint shooting this is really really good option so it's a two and a half to 15 times mag range based on a 30 mil tube it's got capped elevation and windage turrets we take them off we've got bdc turrets under underneath and nice positive clicks this is the MOA base reticule and you get a quarter MOA click with this. They also do a BDC rep, which again is paired with a quarter MOA click. And just to show you the windage is the same, just a BDC turret that is dialable. So illumination is standard, again stepped between each number, which is convenient. And we've got side focus on here which comes down to 10 yards. So these are perfect for rim fires, air rifles, and more than adequate for shoving onto a center fire rifle for stalking, foxing, or any sort of uh, shooting discipline you want to go for. So the Midas second focal planes uh, pitch sort of underneath the first focal plane in price. So the second focal plane version in the four and a half to 27, you're looking around sub 600, potentially around 550. And then in the two and a half to 15, that's a real bargain. That's around 399. So a really nice scope for the money that. But if you have any further questions, always drop us a call. We can talk it through on the Midas range of rifle scopes that we've got available. Or if you want something a little bit higher, you can enter it into the Aries series which is offered in the BTR and the ETR, or if you're looking for something slightly cheaper in the first focal plane option, you've got the Argos BTR Gen 2s available now. So remember guys, we'll keep these videos coming, just comment below if you want any um, different videos being done. We're always up for suggestions. So yeah, remember, comment, like, and we'll keep the videos coming. Cheers.